Hello, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me here. My name is Charity and this message is for Aries. So this, this reading, we're going to look at the energies of how the person who is on your mind is feeling about you right now. What they're thinking about you, what they like about you, what they like about the connection, don't like as much, highest hopes, deepest fears, and what is likely to happen, and what they're likely to do next, and any advice Spirit would like to give you. So <clears throat> let's get started. Spirit. What is Aries person thinking about them right now? What are they thinking about them overall? What are they thinking about them, Spirit? What are they thinking? What are they feeling about Aries? What are they feeling in their heart for Aries, Spirit? What is Aries person feeling in their heart for them? What do they like most about Aries? What don't they like as much? What don't they like as much? Oh my goodness, interesting. <clears throat> what do they like most about this connection? What do they like most about the connection with Aries? And what do they like least about the connection? What are their highest hopes? Oh my gosh, interesting, Aries. So we definitely want to make a move here. <clears throat> and what are their deepest fears? What are their deepest fears? What are their deepest fears? That one just blew out. Huh, interesting, okay. Um. Okay, what is likely to happen? I'm just going to flip that right into my hand. And I'm going to lay these down over here, face down, and we'll look at them at the end. What is your person likely to do? Almost, almost flipped it over. And what advice does Spirit have for you? Okay. Let's get started. For what they're thinking about you, we have the Seven of Cups. Interesting energy because this is somebody who could be thinking a lot of different things, could be fantasizing, could be dreaming, could be um, imagining what it would be like to be with you. But this could be an energy that's a little scattered. It's almost like they think about one thing and then they get a little distracted and they think about another and then they pull back around and they're curious. But it's somebody who is a little all over the place and is having trouble making a decision what to do, what to say. The Seven of Cups is when there's a lot of different things on your mind and it, you know it's time to choose a cup. You know it's time to make um, to make the decision on what to focus on because what we focus on, we manifest. And it's like they can't even seem to figure out where to start with this. Scorpio energy could be significant. How they feel about you is the Page of Cups. So I love that for you, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. This is flirtatious. This is a new beginning. This is somebody wanting to have, you know, to talk to you more, have some fun, um, maybe flirt a little. Could be somebody that's feeling the beginnings of love or kind of having a love stirred up in a new way. If it is someone that, that you've known, um, but it's a new beginning and it's somebody wanting to wanting to say something, wanting to speak up. And I feel like with this page of cups kind of being here, sort of like leaning, sleeping almost on this, on this horse and the seven of cups, which can be about fantasizing, a lot of psychic energy. I do feel like this person could be having dreams about you and, um, and you could be, I mean, you could be feeling a lot of psychic energy here. What they like best about you is the page of wands. We have three pages here. So um, this is an energy of them liking. I feel like it's liking to talk to you, liking to hear from you. They really look forward to when they see your name like pop up on 
their phone or if you, they see you post something new, if you do post on social media, they like that energy. They like feeling like something, like if this is someone, because there's so much new energy, there's all these pages here. If this is someone that you have been connected to, they feel like there's a new possibility, a new pot potential. For some of you, this could be a new energy completely. It's going to be different for everybody who watches this reading, but trust the person that is on your mind, the person that your heart is thinking about and and um, and that's the energy. That's what I asked to channel and connect in with. This person likes, they like the, the potential of what could be. They like thinking about that. They do like hearing from you quite a lot. Oh, what they don't like is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Interesting. Oh, and Aries Leo, Sagittarius there with that Page of Wands. I get Sagittarius with the Wheel of Fortune, me as a reader, but this one came up in reverse. I think this person feels like maybe they missed a chance. Maybe they missed an opportunity. Maybe it's too late. Maybe they're hoping the wheel's going to spin back up again. It's almost like they're beating themselves up a little bit for not taking an opportunity. And, um, and I feel like they're really thinking and rethinking some things, things they didn't do, things they didn't say. And now it's like they have all this page energy. It's like now maybe the two of you are, you know, talking more or, um, or there's been like a little flirtatious energy and it's like, they want to take that. They want to take the initiative. They want to do something, but it's, there's a part of them that's almost afraid like it's too late or it's not going to work or something like that. What they like most about the connection is the magician. Aries energy for me with this one in Gemini as a reader um, is what I get. But this is the energy that um, their thoughts, their feelings, their hopes have brought someone like you into their life. They'd hoped for this and like, here you are. And you could be wondering, you know, if this is somebody you reach out to or somebody you've recently um, met or recently started talking to again or something like that, you could be wondering, oh, do they want to hear from me or what do I do or what do I say or something like that. But this person has manifested this, this opportunity. It's like what they like best is this opportunity, this chance, this hope for what could possibly be. What they don't like is the hermit, which is interesting. Virgo energy could be significant here, but what I'm getting is this person doesn't like being alone. They don't like being without you. They don't like missing you. They don't like all this energy of thinking about you and thinking about what it would be like to be with you and not actually be there. Their highest hopes are the Page of Pentacles. Somebody wants to see you. Pentacles are all about face-to-face, -face, hearing each other's voices, talking, making a plan, you know, going out, doing something. This is somebody who definitely wants an opportunity, definitely wants to take a step. Once again, with all this page energy, this is something, this is something brand new. And if it's somebody that you are connected to that feels like they missed an opportunity, someone that you know that, you know, you're connected to psychically, they, they don't want to be alone they want to be with you like just you but with all this page energy um it could be like a complete new beginning and um and you have to trust yourself on that one who is on your mind who are you thinking of that that is this that is this person and this is this is what they're feeling. Their deepest fears are the Knight of Pentacles. Oh and Taurus Virgo Capricorn with that page of pentacles. Um, and then uh, more Taurus energy. But the Knight of Pentacles, their deepest fears are that it could take forever. The Knight of Pentacles is patient, takes their time, is a planner. It's like this person does not want to wait. They don't want to wait to be with you. They might feel like maybe that's the practical thing. Maybe that's the right thing. Maybe they should think this through. It's almost like with all this new tentative energy with all these pages, if you guys have just recently started talking again or just recently met or something, it's like they want to think that there's more to it. They want to think that you feel the way they feel, but they're a little nervous like that if they don't do something and take this opportunity, they could miss it and it could take forever for that opportunity to come back around again. This person does not want to wait. So what are they likely, so what is, I think it's likely to happen than likely to do. Um, what is likely to happen? We have the Fool, more Aries energy and Aquarius for me as a reader, but um, honestly, 
this is a completely new beginning. This is clear karma. It's zero point. It's something fresh, something new. It's taking a leap. It's not overthinking. It's not having to know every detail. It is possible that this person did maybe in the past take too long or wait, maybe in this connection, maybe in others, and they've lost opportunities. They've missed chances. And some part of them knows like, I have to take this leap. It's it's now or it's never. I could, I could lose this chance, but I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how Aries feels. I'm having all this like, you know, um, all these feelings and all these thoughts and, and I feel like I'm reading their signals right, but I'm going to have to take a leap without really knowing. So what are they likely to do? Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh. Get ready for, I mean, seriously, get ready for somebody to speak up, ask you out, um, <laughs> flirt, want to talk, your phone, you know, lighting up. This person is sending messages one way or another, but this Ace of Wands is direct. This is not somebody, you know, um, <clears throat> kind of like putting things out there and hoping you sort of get the idea. This is somebody coming towards you and saying, hey, this is how I feel. I'm interested. You know, is there, is there a chance? Is there a possibility? So what is your advice? Queen of Swords, interesting. Um, oh, and Aries, uh, Leo Sagittarius, that Ace of Wands, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. Specifically, a lot of Libra energy for me as a reader, but air energy. Um, be clear, be decisive. Yeah, maybe you don't have to come right out and say exactly what you think or exactly what you want, but you need to know. The swords are all about thoughts. You need to know what it is you desire. You need to know what it is you want and send that message out to the universe because you two are picking up on one another's energy. And there's something about you being really sure and really clear about exactly what you want and need in a connection that sends that signal out to the universe. And the person that you're thinking about, the person that's thinking about you, the person you're you're attracted to and hoping for, you know, they're having all this like flirtatious energy. They're having all this hope for a change. They don't want to be alone. They feel like you came into their life for a reason. They don't want to miss this opportunity. They don't want to wait with that Knight of Pentacles. They're thinking about you quite a lot, but there's something about you being really clear and really decisive and knowing what it is you want and watching that manifest, Aries. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. So let's go ahead and just get a couple clarifiers here. Spirit, why do we have the Seven of Cups for what this person is thinking about, Aries, right now? Why do we have a Seven of Cups? Oh my gosh. We have the Death card on the bottom. <laughs> I'm sorry, the Death card jumped out. And we have the Empress on the bottom. So both of these cards were revealed. Very interesting. Scorpio, Taurus, Libra. Um, this person, I asked why it is they're thinking, hoping, fantasizing, you know, um, imagining, maybe even dreaming about you, but not really sure what to do, what direction to take. Um, with this, this death card, there has been some sort of major transformation in this person's life, maybe in this connection, something for them has ended once and for all. And I feel like it's almost in a sense, freeing them up because like there's all this page energy, page of cups, page of wands, page of pentacles. If there was something that was maybe like holding them back, or maybe there was some sort of difficult ending between the two of you, or maybe there's something that, you know, was kind of making, um, kind of making them go slow or making them miss an opportunity. If they want a fresh start. They want a new beginning. They want to leave the past in the past and they want a fresh start, but there is definitely some fear here. There's a little fear for this person that if they do speak up, um, that it could almost cause more trouble than it's worth. Like, it's almost like they feel like if, you know, they think about what it would be like to be with you, they think about what it would be like to talk to you, but then they almost stop themselves before they start because they think, what if Aries rejects me? What if they don't feel the same way? What if I just put myself out there and, and it's over and I lose, you know, what we have, be it a friendship, be it like this tentative energy of a new beginning. Like if they do too much too fast, they could lose 
lose you. But if they take too much time, they could lose you. So a lot of overthinking happening here, which is interesting because they're not coming up with a lot of swords energy. That was your advice. But this person's definitely overthinking a lot. And the reason is, is because they're seeing you as this Empress energy. The energy of the one, the one that they want to be with, the one that they want to choose, the one that they hope chooses them. And they want to do this wisely because when someone is feeling the Empress energy for you, and it's, it's like it has to be you and no one else. So it's like they don't want to mess it up. They don't want to miss their chance. They don't want to lose that opportunity. But they, it's, they also don't want it to take so long, too long. They don't want to scare you off. It's like sometimes we just have to trust the universe and take that leap and i feel like with what is likely to happen being the fool i think this person is going to get that nudge to just trust their heart trust their intuition and and take a step even if they don't know where it can go because with the ace of wands there's definitely some sort of communication. Now, this isn't the Ace of Cups. This isn't somebody coming in and professing everything all at once. It's the Ace of Wands. There's a lot of attraction. There's a lot of interest. There's a lot of hope for the future, but it could be sparking up a conversation. It could be kind of, you know, hinting at a little bit of deeper emotions with all these pages, but maybe not going right in. Kind of test the water, see how you feel, but I feel like their heart has already kind of leapt towards you and it's their, it's their mind that's kind of playing catch up here with what to do next. So really very interesting energies for you, Aries. I really like it. And your advice, once again, Queen of Swords, be really clear with yourself if you feel guided with this, you know, with the person that is on your mind, but be clear about what it is. Um, you really want and what you really hope for because it is absolutely possible and you got new beginnings all over the place but there's been some sort of powerful transformation there's been a powerful change and with this hermit being what they don't like that I just feel like this person doesn't want to be without you anymore because you're the empress and the page of cups they're falling I think they're falling for you so that is the message I have for you. Um, these are our general readings, so take what's yours, leave what's not. If you like it, please put a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And I just appreciate all of you watching, commenting, connecting with me, all of your encouragement um, through my move and a lot of big changes that have been in my life. And I'm really excited pretty soon. <laughs> I had to set up my, I had so many personal readings to do after my move. I had to set up like my desk really quick in my, in my room while I get my studio ready. But I'm really excited pretty soon. I'm going to be able to show you all the new space that I've moved into. But in the meantime, I just wanted to get you your January messages out. I hope you all are having a good Jan January, a good new year, lots of amazing new potential with all these pages here. Um, there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning for you. And it has to do with love. So that is the message that I have for you. If you feel guided to reach out for a personal reading, it would mean a lot to me. I would love to hear from you. And I'll talk to you soon.